hello everyone so in today's video we are going to go over this problem from strata scratch called acceptance rate by date and this problem is from meta or previously known as facebook and this is a medium rated problem so what the problem simply states is that there are a bunch of friend requests uh, they can either be sent uh, they can either they can be of two types so in the data frame there are uh, two types of requests one is a sent request and one is a accepted request so a request might be sent on some day and it might be accepted on some other day and if the request is uh, not accepted then uh, there is no mention of that request again so it is only sent but uh, there is no other row in the data table mentioning that it was accepted or not so if we just have a look at our data frame so you can see that uh, you have the user ID of the sender, the user ID of the receiver, the date on which it was sent and the action. So if whether it was sent or accepted. Uh, and if we look at the expected output, you need to tell uh, what was the acceptance rate on any given day. So what this basically means is that you might send 10 requests on the 4th of April, uh, sorry the 1st of April and then Oh no, I guess <laughs> I'm not sure what the date format is, but if it's uh, MMDD, then I guess it's the 4th of January. So on the 4th of January, there were a bunch of requests sent and they might be accepted on some day in the future, say the 20th of January. But you need to check how many of the requests sent on the 4th of January have been accepted. That would be the acceptance rate. So the total number of accepted requests which were sent on this date divided by the total number of requests which were uh, sent so i guess it would be a bit more clear as i try to as i start explaining it so this problem uses pretty much uh, all of the tricks which i had up my sleeve for uh, pandas questions so i think like i feel this is a really good question and you should all give this a try uh, on your own as well so it took me some time to come up with the solution as well and there might be more optimal solutions but i prefer mine because uh, it is more intuitive to me so i'll just first take out the uh, record like divided data frame into two types of data so i'll have the uh, data frame of the requests which was sent so i'll just Okay, I am not, I don't remember what was the name of the data frame, so I will just uh, click on preview once again and it will do that for, oh, it doesn't, okay, so this is the data frame name, so if, I will just check, if I do a dot head on this, yeah, so this is the data frame, so now I will just compute the sent requests, so I will just call it sent. So that would be filtering on uh, the on the actions column. So I need to find all the entries where the action is sent, and I also need accepted, which would be the exact same thing, except uh, now I'm looking for the action accepted. So if I just print these out, and I'll just remove this, and I'll show this. So this is not properly formatted because I'm printing multiple of them in a single row. So um, if I print them in different rows, will it get formatted properly? Uh, I don't think so. But yeah. So just you can see these are two different data frames. This has all the accepted ones. This has all the sent ones. So you can see the accepted ones are lesser because of course not all uh, requests which are sent are also accepted. So. Now let's have a look at uh, the table. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to do a join over these two tables. So I'm going to do a join over the column user ID, uh, the sender ID and the receiver ID. So my intention for doing that is that uh, if there is a request which was sent by a particular user to a particular user and it was accepted, then there would be an entry with the exact same uh, values in the sender and receiver column with the acceptance date and an action of accepted and since I'm going to do a left join 
so i'll retain all the entries in this data frame but if suppose there is a request which was sent but not accepted i'll get a null there so i'll just show you what i'm trying to do so i'll just do a merge on the data frames and i'll use the accepted data frame then i'll tell which columns to use so in the left one i want the user id of the sender and the user id of the receiver so i'll just this so now it will use these two columns from the left uh, and for the right also i want pretty much the same columns so i can just pass the same columns again so now i have uh, told which columns to use for joining and i can tell uh, how to do the join so if you're familiar with joins in data frame this is a left join and if I now look at the joint table, you can see I have the user ID the, the, of the sender, the receiver. Uh, these are the same uh, the columns which the data frame was joined on. So they have the same name. They do not have an a underscore X. Uh, the underscore X comes here because the, you have two call data frames with the same column names. Uh, so to distinguish, the first one gets a X, the second one gets a Y. So you can see you now have. Uh, this request sent by the by this user to this user on this date the action is sent and it was accepted on this date so now you have this uh, this request which was sent but not accepted so you have a null there similarly here so now we've kind of got the idea of how we're going to solve this so again I'm going to create a bunch of more tables to make this a bit more clear so now I only want uh, the data frame with uh, the requests which were accepted so if I do a drop any what that would basically do is drop any row with null value so uh, both of these rows will drop so I'll only have the rows uh, which have some uh, which don't have any draw uh, null values which basically means that I'll only have uh, entries where the request was also accepted so you can see now uh, this data frame only has accepted entries now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate how many requests were sent on uh, any day so what basically that means is I'll try to group on the date x column and I'll try to get the count so that is also pretty simple all I need to do is I take this uh, data frame and I'll create a new column called counts and that would be created by using the original data frame and doing a group by on the date x column so this would do a group by based on this date x column and after that I can just do a transform count so this would do a count on the group by column so uh, if I show you what it basically does is it will first group by and then use a count transform to count uh, the number of occurrences so if I now have a look at this you can see I now have a count for every particular date so there were four uh, requests sent on there were three requests sent on the fourth and there were two requests sent accept, sent and accepted so these are requests which were both sent and also accepted so now I guess you know where I'm going with this I'll do the very same thing with the join table as well so I'll just call this counts accepted and let me just use the entire same syntax uh, just this would be the counts set so if now we have a look at the join table you have counts set uh, after this what I'm going to do is basically uh, even a single row with this date would give me the information about how many were sent right so I don't need to keep all the rows I'll just drop all the duplicates so I'll drop all the duplicates and for drop duplicates I'll use the subset with data x column date x column sorry so this would essentially uh, return all the unique all the rows with a unique value in date x so it would keep the first occurrence 
and since in the output I only want uh, the date and the acceptance column I can just remove all the other columns because they are not giving us any useful information as such so we can keep the date x and since we need a counts column uh, I'm just keeping that as well and I'll do a similar transformation for the other data frame as well so for the accepted one um, and this should also be count sent not count sent so if I now print both the tables you can see you will see what's going on uh, did I make a mistake here I need uh, drop duplicates not join I don't know where that came from yeah so this is the first table um, okay, I I forgot to save this as well. So I need to since this is not an in place operation, I need to assign it once again. So now you have the numbers uh, sent on any particular date, and the other data frame has a number accepted on any particular date. So I can now just join both of these tables. So I'll just do a join once again. The join table would be a join. So a merge and for the merge the other table would be this table and you can always look up the syntax you don't need to remember this I have also not memorized anything I just uh, remember this because I uh, used this just a bit ago to solve this myself and since the columns are the same I will use the date x column and again you have a how here the how really doesn't matter because both of them will have the same dates, uh, but I'll just supply a how. So if I now look at the join table, we now have a particular date with the count set and the count accepted. So you can now guess uh, to get the acceptance rate, you just need to divide. So this is just uh, taking the counts accepted and divided that by counts set. And if you now look at uh, the table, you will have a new column with the acceptance rate which is similar to what you wanted. But you don't need these two columns, right? So you can just remove them. So I, you want, essentially you want uh, to filter out again on uh, just the two columns that are there in your output, which are basically due text and acceptance rate. So you get this data frame, you can assign it once again. Or you, if you don't want to, you can skip that, uh, and you can see that this is the correct output. So this is not to say that this is the only way to solve this, or this is the best way to solve this, but this is a pretty intuitive way to solve this. So thank you guys for joining in. Hope to see you again next time as well.